to my channel. As you can see behind me, I have a new laundry set. <laughs> yeah, the last video I did, I was trying to fix the dryer uh, of my 14-year-old set. Um, it was making some really bad noises. In case you haven't seen that one yet, I'll leave a link in the description box of this video. Um, yeah, so we went shopping today for appliances. And uh, we went to Best Buy here in uh, Canada. So, um, and got a really great deal on both of these um, to replace my old set. Um, these are super techy compared to what I had for 14 years. And uh, we paid for Geek Squad protection warranty for five years, guys, on each of these. Five years. That means if it breaks down or I have a problem with it, I call somebody. I don't have to take a screwdriver to either of these for five years. I am so excited. The old set, the dryer, I guess I cleaned out the, the lint and stuff behind the plate and I had unseated the bearing to check on, on how tight or loose or whatever it was and I guess just disturbing it that much threw it the rest of the way out. So the dryer was not to be saved. So on my thumbnail I said, will it live? Well, I'm here to tell you the patient did not live. <laughs> so we have brand new ones here. Let me uh, take you off the tripod and I'll give you a closer look at the features. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Now, first off, the washer. Look at this panel, guys. Look at all the stuff on here. Soil level, temperature, colors, and like what what all the settings are. Options that I can add or turn off. Um, stain pre-treat. I, I have learned so much about this thing just tonight. And I have put my first load through it because it's cheap hydro at, at night time. Anytime after 7, it's it's cut rate hydro, so <laughs> we do our laundry at night. Um, so I have put the first load through here. And these light up. See? Depending on what setting, it will light up the program that you get. Um, you put the laundry detergent in the drum first. And then you loosely put in the clothes around the edge of the uh, basket working towards the middle and let me tell you guys there turned it off uh, this basket is huge okay I put the laundry um, in this and the amount of clothes I put in here would have packed my other one okay look at the size of this basket and it's hardly used <laughs> and it would have choked my other one like wow <laughs> i am doing a lot less laundry time here um i have a liquid fabric softener dispenser in the center that will automatically release it during the rinse um, there is a, like a corkscrew agitator, and there's little fins on the bottom, probably, I don't know if you can see it, there, oops, there we go, see, they're all the way around, so, um, it gets really agitated in there, and let me tell you, there are sounds coming out of this thing, <laughs> I don't know about, but it's it's all technology driven. Um, this is for liquid bleach dispenser. So you pour it in here and it'll gently add it to the water. So none of your clothes get actually 
flooded with bleach. It's all mixed in. And I have. The labels are still on this sucker. Um, 4.9 cubic foot uh, washer. Okay. Large capacity holds more clothes for fewer loads. Yay! Okay. Uh, it has a deep fill function that adds more water for larger loads. Or if you're doing like a comforter, you add uh, maximum deep fill and that way you get it really clean. And because of the size of the basket, that's a lot of water and uh, yeah, there's lots of room. Uh, deep rinse removes any leftover soap residue. Again, big items. It, it takes a lot to move things through it. so. They, they uh, provide extra rinses and extra spins and wow, okay. Uh, the EnerGuide sticker on this one, 160 kilowatt hour per year, okay. Look at where this, this model sits right here on the bottom end of the scale. So it's very energy efficient and in fact they, they uh, Suggest you use HE detergent, laundry detergents, high efficiency, okay? Less suds and uh, they work with the newer machines which have variable uh, water levels. So uh, they, they work better with the new stuff. So I'll have to see about getting some of that. I've got the normal stuff right now, which is fine. These are both GE machines because our last ones were 14 years and we've had really good luck with GE appliances. Our, even our stove, you know, um, things are just, yeah, <laughs> you trust in, in a certain brand. They haven't let us down yet. Okay, the dryer. Let's see here. Uh, extended tumble. So if you want to keep things... Uh, tumbling around until you can get to them, etc. Um, different temperatures depending on what um, clothes you've got in there. Again, different temperatures and cycles for the uh, load you're drying right then. They have extended tumble. This determines whether it's on or off. So if it's off and you use this cycle, it'll stop here instead of the extended tumble. So they're just showing you. Um, the signal. If you want a signal when it goes off, you can have a various degree of loudness here. I guess depending on where your laundry set is in your house, how loud you need it to be to know it's done. Um, and that's usually for things that will um, wrinkle. Once they stop, they, they need to be uh, brought out of the dryer right away. Uh, push start button. Once you've set all your buttons, then you hit the start and it just does it. The uh, inner guide on this one, okay, is 900 kilowatt hour per year. And it's, um, I would say it's just below half of that measure right there. So it's not that bad. It, I mean, it's not way up here. It's not down there, but it's, it's, you know, it's not bad. And it is a dryer, so you're going to expect to use some energy. I mean, it takes energy to dry the clothes, right? I like the uh, handles on both of these. You just grab it and pull, right? And it has a light on in here. Yay! <laughs> Oh, and there's that plate that I fought with on the old one. <laughs> nice and sparkly clean and brand new. Wow! Okay. Um, this is the lint filter that you clean every time you use this thing. Okay. Very simple, very uh, small and compact. It's not a big long strip of thing. Um, it is... 7.2, 7.4 cubic foot dryers, okay? This one, I believe, is the 7.4 for the series. Duradrum 2, 
resists corrosion for lasting durability. Energy Star uses less energy to give you more savings. 120 foot venting allows the flexible installation. So, um, a lot more options as to where to put it <laughs> in your house if you need to. Okay. Um, now, because I did the laundry, I did one load. And uh, I'm going to transfer these over to the dryer. So, let me put you back on the tripod for a minute. And let me do that. So, I want to show you this thing in action. Um, I would have... I would have um, done this video while this was running, but it, I figured for audio it was worth um, waiting. Thing is, it is done. So, there we go. Uh, now with hoodies, I usually tie the, the drawstring here, and I zip it up just to keep it together and less clangy in the, in the uh, dryer. Oh, that's another thing I'm going to have to get used to is reaching into this thing. This is a deep drum and I'm short. <laughs> Five foot two. So it's quite the thing. Okay, I got a pair of jeans, one pair of jeans, but mostly it's tops and stuff. It's fairly light stuff so I'm not going to go specifically for jeans because even those jeans are light they're thin material so here we go shake them out a little bit they are mostly dry this thing really rings out um, no problem so um, I don't use liquid laundry uh, softener as a rule, sometimes I have, but normally I just use a sheet in the dryer. So close it up, extended tumble off, I don't care. Uh, temperature, I'm going to go with casuals, medium temperature, that's good enough. Um, let me see. Okay, I am going to go. to go with 70 minutes time dry um, no signal because it's night time and I want to go to bed <laughs> and here we go now listen to the difference to the old one. Oh, is that nice guys or what okay That's it. It can dry overnight like that, and I don't even care. It's not going to disturb me with sleeping, etc. So it can just do its thing overnight and shut off when it's done. These are much higher than my old one, um, but I appreciate that because this has the deep cycle uh, wash and rinse. So. If I want the capacity, I'm going to have to put up with a bigger tub. And it is a um, stainless steel tub, too. It's not porcelain or anything that's going to uh, mess up really quick. And, uh, yeah, so these are going to get pampered for a long time. And uh, it's good to know I have the Geek Squad protection backing me up for five years. So, anyway, that is the basic overview of these things. I will be doing another video um, review of both of these once I've had them in the house for a while. And I've actually used all the features and stuff. And I can speak confidently about how I feel about what things are working, what aren't, etc. Durability and ease of use and all of that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, if you're new to my channel, 
Hey, why don't you check out my content? There's lots of different things up here. And um, maybe hit that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell as well to send notifications to your inbox so you don't miss another video that I upload to this channel. So thanks again for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.